In Colorado, people play at a high level. Folks, we've got a winner. Colorado State comes into Boulder and pulls the upset. The final score, Rams 23, Buffalo 17. The place is so much fun. I mean, I think Fort Collins was voted the number one place in the, in the country to live. Outdoor recreation, you can't beat it. You know, you got rafting, you got all sorts of things. Tucked away on the edge of this sports spectacle sits an attraction reflecting not only the surroundings, but also the competitive spirit of the state. Sonny Lubick Field at Hughes Stadium serves as the home of the Rams. Steve Fairchild returned home to guide the Rams after a well-traveled journey. Coach Fairchild played quarterback for the Rams, assisted legendary CSU coach Sonny Lubick during a period of unprecedented success. Do hereby welcome the Colorado State University Rams to the city of San Diego yeah. and yeah. wish them the best of luck. Oh, When I came into the program, you know, we just were steady going like this. You know, we was playing in the holiday ball every year. You know, we was winning the conference. And at the same time, we still was putting guys out to the NFL. When I got in there, the, the expectations was the Mountain West Championship. And that was, that was it. It was that or bust. I appreciate you staying around on this night for a very historic occasion. The second consecutive Mountain West Conference Championship to the Colorado State Rams. Coach Fairchild, when I was there, he was he was the quarterback's coach. You know, he was there when all this started. I, I say this with all my heart. I'm proud of you. And coach we'll Fairchild here. spent seven years coaching in the pros and now brings all his passion and experience to bear on leading the Rams to victory. The NFL honed Steve's focused approach to the game, revealed in his crisp, efficient practices and full throttle games. And a handoff, reverse, double reverse, Morton to Greer, right side, 45 to the 40, cuts back to the 35 to 30, he could take it in. He came in and he kind of brought that NFL mentality to our practice where you practice hard, you can't make mistakes, you get the, the mental focus. On your toes, you're going to do that. Sit down and get flexed. The way they go about it and the way that um, they expect you to make plays in practice because they know that when you do that in practice, you're going to do it in the games. And that was just kind of the standard that they held. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! They nice play! That a baby! Billy Ferris back in the shotgun. Now he's going to look. He's going to look toward the end zone. Fires it toward Corey Sperry and that ball back in the end zone. Was it caught? I think it was. Was it out of bounds? Oh, it was inbound. Touchdown. Coach Fairchild employs a pro-style offense, an attack used by nearly every NFL team today. Coach Fairchild coming in, you know, from he's bringing that Buffalo Bills uh, offense. He's got such a good offense in mind. A lot of his schemes are going to be the same as your NFL teams. In motion, they'll send a man now. John Moser, direct snap at the five. Johnny Moser. Eight of the 13 coaches on the staff return to their alma mater to share their Ram pride. He looked at me, I looked at him, and he, the look we gave each other, we knew what we was about to do. We knew we was about to jump up in the air and chest bump each other. And it almost felt like I was still part of the team. The Ram pride came out of me. Trell Johnson into the end zone. Gives a big chest bump to Joey Porter. The flag is thrown on the Miami Dolphin linebacker. Ram fans across the country take pride in the fact that Colorado State has been to 10 bowls in the last 16 years. It was a lot of fun, the Holiday Bowls, the Liberty Bowls, the Conference Championships, the WAC Championship, Mountain West Championship. 
Last one at Hughes Stadium. Gonna go out with the conference championship. I miss this place. It means everything. Many more at stake than this right here. Now I come into a situation as, as a freshman, we go to the ball game. They had just went 10 and 2 the year before. They had beat Arizona, you know, the Desert Storm there. And uh, they went to the Holiday Bowl and played Michigan. Under Coach Lubick and now under Coach Fairchild, they breed a mindset that really prepares you to succeed as you go on and move. And if you're lucky enough to move through your career, once you have that foundation, it really makes it quite a bit easier to, to move forward and progress and, and improve. One of the commitments we're making as an institution is to strive for excellence in absolutely everything that we do. That means excellence in athletics as well. And to allow us to do that, that means that we have to make some investments, and we are. $50 million have been committed to athletic facilities in the last five years, including a new indoor practice facility, weight room, and academic center. There's obviously a commitment here. Um, there's, there's obviously tradition here as well, and, and, and they want to be able to compete on a national level, and, and that's, that's fun to watch as an alumnus. You have the facilities, you have the platform, and Mountain West just keeps getting better. And it's a pretty darn good one fielded by Tomlinson. He's going to bring it out. Near side, 10, 15, and hammered at the 18-yard line. The Rams play in the Mountain West Conference, a league that developed NFL stars like Brian Urlacher, LaDainian Tomlinson, and Joey Porter. Bill Burke with a short drop, steps up in the pocket, but he'll be sacked. Making the play, Joey Porter, Colorado State leaves with its 10th consecutive win. We're all over the place. The Mountain West is definitely a conference that's uh, building and more and more players are coming in the NFL. And it seems like what used to be only maybe one or two guys drafted in the first day uh, from the Mountain West, there's one or two first rounders from the Mountain West every year. The CSU Alumni Association gets together often. CSU has had five first-round selections in the NFL Draft. 35 former Rams played on league championship or Super Bowl teams. In 2005, two of the Pittsburgh Steelers' starting linebackers, Joey Porter and Clark Higgins, were products of CSU. The, the values that pro scouts look for are the same values that they try to help grow at Colorado State. He's going to be sacked back at the 10-yard line by Joey Porter. This is Colorado State football. Picked it up in the second half. Everybody started playing good. That's the way you play Ram football. My last homecoming, I had to come out here and put the for the crowd. See State, baby. Just an interesting comment I got into at the Combine last year with the general manager and spoke of Colorado State guys, how amazing it is that they're not necessarily all high draft picks, but they always make the roster and get better and better to the point where they're all solid contributors on the teams they're selected to. Here comes the blitz. Rams pick it up in Van Felt with a pass. Anderson steps in the end zone. Ram touchdown. Machete the snap, wants to throw. Ball is tipped up into the air, and it's picked up by Higgins. Clark Higgins will bring it back to the 10, to the 5. Here is the fake. The throw. I'd say they just kind of prepared me to do the right thing, work hard. I'd say that was the best thing that they did for me.